as we will be feeling the effects of this cold weather. So will our pets, and that's why it's important to ensure they stay nice and warm. Our Sedona Meadows spoke with a local veterinarian about how to make sure your furry friends stay safe. It's very scary. It's, um, we have been preparing here, concerned about outdoor pets. So we really want your cats and dogs inside. Period. Director of Huntsville Animal Services, Dr. Karen Shepard, emphasizes the best way to keep your pets safe is keeping them inside. We can consider a dog being left outside as cruelty. So a little puppy like this can't handle it. Even if it had a really good dog house with straw around it. Now, if you do have an outdoor pet and decide to put them in the garage, you're gonna wanna have dry blanketing all in the crate or available as a bed and then cover the crate um, with blanketing. You'll want to limit the time your pet is outside. A lot of dogs are going to run outside, do their business and want to come back in and others are going to want to play. And as long as they're moving, just like human children, you're in good shape. If your dog has a thin fur coat, consider putting them in a sweater and using booties to keep their paws warm. If they start showing signs of being cold, check their paws when they come in for ice balls. Salt and other chemicals to melt ice away may also be on the road, which could be harmful on your pet's paws. In that case, use a damp cloth to gently rub the irritants off their paws. Also, you need to be checking your water a couple times a day because it'll freeze when it, it gets in the 20s and teens and below, especially with the wind and the wind chill. And if you see a stray animal. During the day, you can bring the animal in or you can call our department at night. You'll call the non-emergency police number and we expect to get a lot of calls. In Huntsville, Sedona Meadows, Fox 54 News.